This is a problem of magnetic forces on charged particles moving in magnetic fields. The formula sheet has the formula F equals QB cross B. Now in this case we need to use the I hat, J hat, K hat convention to work out this cross product. So if the proton is moving in the x direction with velocity Vx, I can write the velocity vector as Vxi hat. If the force is in the y direction, I can write the force vector as Fyj hat. Now we're trying to find the magnetic field. So we know that this force is equal to Q times the cross product of velocity and magnetic field. The velocity vector has an x component, a 0y component, a 0k component. The magnetic field we don't know, but we're assuming it has a bx, a by, and a bz, all of which we need to find out. And we know that the answer to that is fyj hat. Now that is in fact three separate equations. That's an equation in the x direction, the y direction, and the z direction. So we need to write this out as three separate equations. In the x direction, the i hat component is q times 0 times bz minus 0 times by, and there is no force in the x direction, so that has to be 0. Now that equation really doesn't help us much because bz could be anything, by could be anything, and it's still going to give us 0. So let's go to the y direction now. In the y direction we have q, and we have um, 0 times bx minus vx times bz. And we know that that has to give us fy. Now, this does give us some information. Although bx could be anything, because anything times 0 is still 0, we see now that this gives us bz. bz must be negative fy divided by qvx. Okay, so we know the magnetic field has a component in the z direction, and it's in the negative z direction. Let's go to the z equation now, and we have q times vx by minus 0 times bx has to be 0, because there is no force in the z direction. Okay, now B, bx can still be anything here, but now right away we had no by has to be 0, or else that equation will never work. All right, so we come to the conclusion that by is 0, bz has a value, but bx can be anything. Now, how does that look? Okay, now let's look at the implications of this result. So if we look in the xz plane, the velocity is in the x direction. Force is in the y direction, which in this case would be into the board. There's the force. Now, let's assume that bx is 0, in which case b, we found, points in the negative z direction. So that's one possible b. And notice that v cross b, turn v towards b, and you're going to generate that force in the correct direction. But what happens if b had an x component? And it was over here. Well, v cross b still gives f in the y direction, so that doesn't affect the result. And you can see that as long as b has any component in the x direction, it's still going to generate a force in the y direction. And so our results are consistent with the picture.